diving deep into the magic of powerful prompts. Hello, my beautiful friends. How are you doing today? I want to show you a free website that can help you find amazing prompts. It can inspire you, but you can also train it on your way of prompting. Let's get started. This video is inspired by a video from Matt Wolfie. You might want to check that out here. And the page is called Chi Prompter. Now here you have a lot of different options. So when you scroll down, you have, of course, text to image prompts where you can see here, you can train your own prompts, but you can also choose from different styles. And when you click on that, this will then load a page where you can enter your idea and you can play around with the prompt length, with the style you want to use. You can see there's a lot of different styles in here. Then also the ratio for mid journey prompts and also the mid journey version you want to use here. And then when you want to create a prompt from that, you click here on submit. But you can also have it more random where you simply click down here on good visually or random totally. As you can see, this is loading and here we have a prompt randomly created for us. A dazzling fashion model struts down a neon lit runway wearing an avant-garde metallic dress that morphs into a swarm of colorful butterflies. That's already pretty amazing as a prompt. It's inspirational. I think you can use this as a nice tool to give you new ideas and also to think about how to write your prompts. But also below that, you can see that you can spice that up with different additions to that prompt. So you can say, for example, Galaxy, or you want to have patterns that are vibrant or make it dark, dark warrior, 3D and so on. So let's click here on Galaxy. You can see that now this has added an image at the start, which is a good indicator for us that this is also a tool that is mainly oriented towards mid journey. But you can also use these prompts with stable diffusion at the same time. So when I copy the prompt over to mid journey, you can see there is actually two different image links included and these links link to this image here of a nice colorful galaxy and then also this image here that is more abstract reminds me of like a 70s vinyl cover also galaxy themed so these are taken as inspiration and when we have a look at the final images that have been created from that prompt with these image links the results are actually pretty interesting we have here the butterflies and a beautiful woman and it is in a creative style that I personally wouldn't have come up with so this can actually be a very nice tool for inspiration. Now these are first roll images, so the results might not be perfect, but for inspiration, for a starting point, it's actually pretty good. Now let's have a look at the second aspect here that you might be even more interested in, and that is train your own prompt generator. So for that, we're going to click on here. And when I click on that, for me, I already have trained different prompt machines. So this is what I see. But for you, this is starting here. And that would be at entering the prompt name. I'm going to call mine art machine and then I'm clicking on continue on the lower right. Next is going to present me with different styles I want to have here. So you can have photography, traditional art, digital art or all of them combined. I'm going to go with digital art and I have to click on continue again. After that, I'm presented with more styles that apply to digital art. Let's say hyper realism and then also digital. Let's continue. And here now we have even more choices of different styles and ways you can go with that. So for example, let's say I want to have luminous. I want to have punk and cyberpunk. And I want to have psychedelic. That sounds pretty tasty. Let's click on continue again. Now in here, you're asked to provide five to 10 prompts. If you are going with stable diffusion, you can of course go to Civit AI and look for prompts here. When you click on the image on the right side, you see here the prompt that is used. If there's any LoRa's in the positive prompt, I would remove them so they don't have any influence from kind of strange words any in there, but also of of course, you can use your own prompts to just put them in there if you want to. And of course, a mid journey, you can simply scroll through the community gallery and try to find any images that apply to what you want to create. You click on that. And then down here, you have the three dots and you can copy over the 
prompt over here, not the full command because this also includes all of the other settings, but you only want to have the prompt text in that case. Put that in here and then click on add prompt. So you can do this as often as you want. And then you would click down here on continue. And this basically immediately gives you your own prompt machine. So now that I've done this, you can see that up here, I have my choices of the different prompt generators that I have trained. Now here, I want to point out, I tried to train these generators for specific terms that I use, for example, with realistic vision, where every prompt starts and ends with the same keywords and only the part in the middle is the same. But the prompt generator did not pick up on that and didn't use any of these kind of terms. However, you can still use this in combination with the styles you can save inside of Automatic 1111. Because one thing this can still do is train it on a way you phrase the content without the style words. And then it can give you interesting inspirations. And this is what I would actually suggest to you. Just type out a couple of ideas that you usually want to address with your prompt and then use it to train the prompt generator on this way you form these kind of ideas or the subjects, the concepts that you're interested in. So I'm going back to Chi Prompter. I'm selecting the generator that I've trained on the realistic vision. And with that down here, I'm going to enter the idea woman in a wedding dress standing in a church sunset light and I'm clicking here on submit. I have selected a medium length prompt professional photo as the artistic style. I have no ratio and no MJ version because we want to use stable diffusion. Let's click on submit and this has created for us the prompt a stunning bride graces the easel of a beautiful lit church with the warm hues of sunset capturing the essence of elegance and romance. So a lot of interesting words, even though this isn't using any of the keywords I would use with the realistic vision, but I'm going to show you why this does not matter. So I'm clicking here on copy to clipboard. And now we are heading over to automatic 1111. And as you know, in here, you can save your styles and the style is the positive prompt and the negative prompt. So here on the right side, I have my style selector and there I have already a setup for realistic vision. So when I click on that. I'm getting a preview. You can see here I have raw photo, high detail skin 1.2. 8K UHD, DSLR, soft lighting, high quality film grain, Fujifilm X-T3, clicking here on the clipboard. And this is going to fill this in and also the negative prompt into my prompt fields. And now I'm going to put the prompt from the Chi Prompter website in between raw photo and highly detailed skin. So let's put that in here. And you can see now I have all that information in here. I'm going to click on generate. So here we have the result from that. And I would say that looks pretty beautiful. But let's also try a more creative prompt. So for that, let's go back to the Chi Prompter page here. I'm clicking on random totally and I'm getting the prompt capture the essence of a fever dream an elegant ballerina in flowing red silk dances among giant melting ice cream cones under a golden sunset and this is what I get inside of automatic 1111 I have to say this is not something I would have come up with myself I find the result amazing and stunning and this is the kind of result I'm getting from mid journey where the dance is holding something between candy cotton and ice cream. I also really like that result, but I would maybe remove the candy cotton. That's it for today, my friends. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.